Good morning, you two. As promised, I am going to um, try to show you me putting on my eyeshadow this morning. It's a little awkward. I have a mirror down here that I'm trying to look at. So, I'm going to try to... I mean, not that there's not a mirror in front of me, but you know when you're used to standing up and doing it a little differently. I'm trying to have to get used to it. So, um, let me go ahead and tell you what I've done. I've taken my Maybelline... Three, I'm sorry, Maybelline Cafe 30 Concealer and I put it below my eyes. So that's one thing that I didn't do. I tried to go ahead and get some of it done to make the video shorter. And then my Maybelline Fit Me Liquid Foundation. Um, this is number 355. This is what I have put on my face um, for my foundation. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I have this loose eyeshadow. Um, if you go to eyegasms.net, this is called bronze. I'm not even sure if you can see that. But it's a nice golden color. I am going to um, be putting that on my lid. But before I do that, NYX eyeshadow base in white. I'm going to put that um, all over my lid. I can find my brush. So I just put that all over, all over my lid. Even when I use um, the wet shadows, I put this over as a primer on my eye. And how I learned about this NYX white eyeshadow base, um, I heard a few people talking about it on YouTube. Because I never used to use eyeshadow base until I started watching some things on YouTube. And um, it does make a difference. And this NYX comes in the white eyeshadow base. And it also comes in, um, I don't want to call it nude or flesh tone, but something like that. There's another color that it comes in that you can also get and I'm gonna try to keep talking as I'm doing this so if I babble I do apologize but I will try to keep it strictly to what I'm doing Oops. okay so I put on my NYX white eyeshadow base and I know I may be coming off looking a little greasy on camera but I'm not really that greasy I think it's the shininess from the liquid foundation so let me go ahead and first wet my brush a little bit. I'm trying to have the water going slow so you won't hear all of this water running in the background. Okay, so I wet my brush and now I am getting some of the gold shadow. And I hope I'm not getting so low that you can't see me applying it. So I'm going to put this all over the lower part of um, my upper lid, I'm sorry, on my, but I'm not going to go above the crease. I'm only going to go to the crease. And a lot of times I'll use like two and three colors on this area, but um, the way that I'm doing it this morning, I have done it like that once and I kind of like how it turned out so I wanted to try it again there are some people that use um, wedges and so forth when they're putting on their eyeshadow to clean it up well I don't, I don't use all of that I just take a piece of tissue and um, fold it in half like this one and I just kind of clean up as I go yeah I don't I don't like to spend money on all that extra that extra stuff So yeah, just put it on your lower lid, just to the crease, not above the crease. At least that's how I do it. You know, you can do your thing how, how you want to do it, but I'm just showing you how I do it. And I'm going to do the same thing, that's that eye. I'm going to do the same thing on this eye. This one might not be wet enough. Let's 
tracks in here. And again, just to the crease. From time to time, I might have to look on this side in the bigger mirror. So, uh, I'm hoping I'm still staying in the camera enough for you to see. So, I'm going to take some tissue that I already have um, folded. And I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. As much as I love doing makeup, I'm not a, I am not a uh, artist, so I am by no means saying this is the proper way to put on makeup and eyeshadow. I'm only showing you the way that I do it. It's a little bit of gold right there. So let's see. So that's not too bad. I'm not a perfectionist, so you know I just do the best I can put it on mine and um, I get quite a few compliments. I'm actually surprised at how many compliments that I get for my eyeshadow but I guess you do it so long eventually you get better at it. So I'm just gonna try to clean up that line a little bit. Clean up that line a little bit. Okay so there's my gold. Um, I'm going to leave it out just in case I have to clean up anything, so I just put it to the side. Next, um, the green is in this palette, and y'all know I love this palette because I think I've shown this palette quite a few times. The green is the one here in the middle, and it's just about done. But um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and do the top um, underneath the brow. I'm going to put this pinup color, this white. And there's a brown here. I'm going to put that brown in the middle crease. And this green right here, I'm going to put on the lower eye. So, I just wanted to tell you what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to go ahead and do it. So first my white underneath my brows, the pinup color. No, there, don't start. So in the middle of me uh, making that video, my camera memory got full so I went to get my laptop and um, realized that I still have footage on there from last night so I deleted it off and I'm just going to pick right back up where I started and I was putting um, oh my gosh I was putting this color underneath my brow <sighs> I tell you never fail something always happens Okay, now that I have that white color, I think I'm my father than I was before. Now that I have the white color underneath my brow, I'm going to use the same um, brush. It's, I don't know what kind of brush it is. I know it's white and it's flat. And I'm going to flip it to the other side. I'm going to take that brown that I was showing you and put that in the crease. And I'm just going to leave it like that for now because I'm going to use a different brush to blend it all together. But I'm going to make sure that I come up high enough. Now it's going to pretty much go over the white because I don't want it that, I don't want that much white. And so we're not really a white, it's kind of like a creamish color. So that's that. And I have this big brush that I use like this. You can see that. But I use this to blend my eyeshadows. So I'm just going to take this and windshield wipe it back and forth and bring it up. Um, bring the brown up and the brown down to try to blend the white and the gold. So it's just like a windshield wiper motion. 
and you just blend everything together. And I'll show you the difference. Okay. Now you see how this eye looks? I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me see. Where it's more blended than this one. This is the one that's not blended. And this is the one that's blended. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing to this eye. I'm just going to blend it. Take the brown and blend it with the gold and with the white. To try to try to get a seamless, a seamless look here. Boy, if I could do at least two eyeshadow videos during the week like this, I think I'm. That's that's a big improvement for me. So, gosh, I'm looking sleepy. So I have it blended out pretty much, you know, pretty good. Now what I want to do is take um, that green and this is the brush I'm going to use. It almost looks like a little paintbrush, but I'm going to take that green that I showed you before and I'm going to put that along the bottom of my eye. Now this is the part where if you get um, shadow down there where you would, if you have a wedge, you would use the wedge to clean it up. In my case, I'm just going to take that piece of tissue that I folded and clean it up if I get too much um, eyeshadow down underneath my eye. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Try not to put too much on the brush so, or if you, you know, try to tap it, tap it that'll uh, let go of some of the loose um, shadow that you have. So, let's see. Just realized I wasn't in the camera shot, sorry. I'm going to get a little more on my brush. I'm going to go along the bottom again. And that's how that looks. Okay, so I'm gonna do it again. To the other side. And I need to be keeping up with time because I do have to go to work and I have to drop off my dog, so. So that's how it looks with the green underneath. Um, okay, we're doing good on time. Next thing I'm going to do, and I think I'm taking longer because I'm talking and trying to show you. Normally I just kind of like get in there and do that thing and boom, I'm done. But I'm trying to take my time a little bit. Um, gosh, the name is even scratched off of this. I want to say this is a Wet n Wild um, eyeliner. I want to try the... What is it called? I don't know. There's this mascara that I've been seeing people use. It's not that I haven't seen it in the store. I haven't used it. Um, when I think about it, I tell you. I um, I want to try it. So, but this is my um, eyeliner that I'm gonna use. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on how I normally do. Try to stay in view of the camera. Now this is the point where I kind of normally get close to the um, to the mirror, but it's kind of hard to do because I'm trying to record it at the same time. So let me try this mirror. I need something closer. I need to I need to be close up on myself when I'm putting on my eyeliner. Don't ask me why. I just do.
Now when I put my eyeliner on, if it's not quite how I want it, I just take a piece of tissue, tell you I'm a tissue clean, and I just kind of clean up where I can kind of manipulate the eyeliner while it's still wet how I want it to go. That's a bump. Okay. So, that's my eyeliner there. Oop, I'm falling in the sink. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, and then I'm going to take the eyeliner and I'm going to do it on the bottom. Okay? I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go off camera for a second to put this, I know this is so weird, just to put the eyeliner on and then I'll come back. I promise I won't do anything. The only thing I've done is put on my eyeliner on top and bottom, that's it. Um, the next thing I'm going to use is, I'm trying to clean up as I go because, you know, I'm going to have to roll. Um, I don't need that either. Oh, okay. Mascara. Maybelline Stiletto Lash Hydrofuge. This is the one I like to use. Um, or any mascara that works good. So I put about one to two coats of mascara. I've tried to wear lashes before can do it. I just something about the way it feels. I don't know. I tried to do it for a carnival and um one year and it drove me absolutely crazy. Couldn't do it. It was very irritating. I felt like um something was just on my eyes and I just it was it was really irritating. Unless they were just too heavy. Unless I should try a different kind, but I don't know if I could wear lashes every every day. I think for an event, something special, I could do it. But okay, so got that on. Next thing I need to do, and you know I'm trying to learn how to put not so much of this um, face powder on, cause I sh oh God I hate that white look. I might have to go back to um, this. Um, pressed mineral powder that I used to wear but what is that this Maybelline mineral powder it's like the darkest one they have I don't even know what which one this is it's probably on the bottom of here oh dark dark one tan so I put this it comes with a little brush also so once I actually put it on the brush I actually tap it off tap it to try to get some of the excess off and I'm just gonna put this over my face this helps set the foundation but I have to I'm gonna have to find something that's not so um, I don't know I don't know I'm I'm still not sure if I'm really feeling feeling this particular one but you know you work with what you got until you get something better and when I put this on, I, um, when I put my liquid foundation on, I put a little bit on my ears and just a little bit below my neck. So it kind of blends in smoothly together. I'm not sure how convincing I am with that, but I've never had um, a horrible comment from anybody about it. So, But yeah, i got to find me a, a different one that's just a little darker because I'm a dark sister and this isn't necessarily to me dark so I just blend out in the neck in the neckline a little bit because I don't like to have that line you know what I think I'm gonna put on a little nice no, fall I was gonna put some bronzer on but we're in the fall. You ain't supposed to be wearing bronzer in the fall. At least that I that I know of. I'm just making sure I got it good underneath my eyes and my nose. And that little space between your nose and your lip that can be forgotten sometimes. And I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Oh, I gotta put some lip gloss on. And I kind of, I like a little bit of shine on my face. Not a lot. Just like a, you know, just like a natural glow. I should say shine. I like a natural glow. So, 
This is NYC Kiss Gloss. I normally either use this one, it's just clear, or um, this one is Shiny Lips, Fruity Lips. It's kind of glittery. I like the way, this is what I normally do. This one makes my lips feel funny. So what I normally do is just put a little bit of this on first because I like the way this one feels. And then I put this one on top. And I know this video might be long, so I, I do apologize. Uh, so just a little bit of that. Because I like the way that, that feels. But this has, um, just something about the way this looks. I like better. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this scarf off because I did my hair last night, and that was the video before this one. And um, this is when I would check to make sure my. Um, you see how this looks right here? So what I do sometimes is take this brush and just go along the edges and make sure it's kind of blended. I don't wanna. Like with my hairline a little bit, and this is why I normally do something, um, put a little bit on my ears and stuff, so it blends in well. So this is my eyeshadow look for the day. It's the gold with the green underneath, and I take some still photos also. And um, if you in case you didn't see the video last night, um, it's the video before this one where I did my hair. Let me do a quick turn to show you. It's a braid out. I took three braids at a time and um, and put that in my hair. 